Hey, let's go over some of the basics of Zen Core, starting from just getting the lighting right and the camera and taking a picture. Let's share my screen. You open up Zen Core, it should look something like this. Go to free mode and you will initialize the hardware. You're looking at a printed circuit board sample, play with exposure, where the images go. So, we got our live image right there. Wash my hand under it just fine. And we will put down our sample. And zoom out, zoom in, all that good stuff. So, over here we have auto exposure, meaning if I were to turn down the light available, the camera will automatically adjust. Just like that. I can bring it back up now and it will adjust again. If we don't like auto exposure, we can turn on manual exposure. I can change the rate at which the camera is refreshing. It's up to you. You can change the relative intensity and in auto exposure if you want things to be darker or brighter in general. We'll keep it at 100% the default for now. your image in black and white or RGB, you can take a picture right here. Now, there we go. Our picture's right over here on the left. Notice that it's not live right now. I can move my hand underneath it. We can't see anything. Go back to live right here. We want to set a white balance, something white down, like a piece of paper. You can hit pick, just select what you want to tell the camera is white. will give us true color. Down here we have our histogram, which is important if you uh, want to make sure nothing's being overexposed. And decrease the light and try to get as much of the red, green, and blue signal as possible without being underexposed or overexposed over there. You can hit min max, press fit. Try to get that histogram to grip the pixels that are showing most in your sample. And here you have the gamma as well, 0.45 recommended for color imaging, one recommended for black and white. And then again, we just snap right here. You can go into tool and we can turn on extended camera if you want to get more detailed. With an extended camera, you can do things like pick an automatic temperature for the white balance. Under model specific, you can change the rotation of the camera so that it's real time. And you know, when you move left, the camera moves left and right and so on. There's a lot more here you can get into. Back to live. Here we have our sample. If I want to save, I can go to save as. I can choose a place like on the desktop for this to be saved. Choose burn in annotations if you want your scale bar in there. And you can choose between JPEG, TIFF, etc. So we'll save it as a JPEG just to the desktop. There you go. Easy to share. If you want this saved so that you can work on it again later with the metadata, it's a .czi file. You press this button right here and you can enter information relevant to you. You can call this training and Clayton and the STEMI from DICE, which I'm using right now. Save. This way, it's not only available to you on the desktop. First way we saved, you can go in here into the browse results folder or the archive and find that CZIs you worked on before. And then you can load them back in to the main software so that they can be edited further like this, okay? Those are some of the basics.